Hello, my name is Kelly Custis, and like many of you, I love people watching. Seeing the world go by and wondering what people's lives might be like. The idea of seeing people through a prism or a lens, being the observer in their lives without their consent or knowledge, speaks to the voyeur in all of us. And that's what brings me to introduce one of my all-time favorite films from Paramount Studios, released in 1954, Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window. Praised by critics and receiving multiple Academy Award nominations, Rear Window was one of Hitchcock's most successful movies. Starring the scintillating pairing of Jimmy Stewart with Grace Kelly, this story of love and intrigue begins in Stewart's Greenwich Village apartment. Here, Stewart's character, an international photojournalist by the name of L.B. Jeffries, or Jeff, is wheelchair-bound in a full-length lead cast. Suffering through a powerful heat wave and profound boredom, Jeff begins passing time viewing his neighbors through his binoculars and telephoto lens out of his rear window. The mystery begins when Jeff awakens one night during a storm to the sound of a scream and breaking glass coming from the apartment housing the tenants, Lars Thorwald, played by Raymond Burr and his wife. Tension mounts as Thorwald's ever menacing behavior escalates and insidious events begin occurring in the apartment complex. Stewart's character draws his socialite girlfriend, Lisa, played by Grace Kelly, and his insurance nurse, Stella, played by the witty Thelma Ritter, into the mystery. What makes this movie so great is the way Hitchcock uses style, suspense, and that touch of humor to weave an ever titillating story about murder that feeds our morbid curiosity to delve into other people's lives. Some critics say that the framework of this movie is the love story between Kelly and Stewart, with the actual MacGuffin being the murder itself. A MacGuffin is a plot element, such as an item or a theme, that catches the viewer's attention and drives the plot. Other critics felt this movie was more commentary on our voyeuristic tendencies, including our fascination with simply going to the moving pictures. Whatever views you come away with after watching Rear Window, I hope you find that it stands the test of time with relevance even today. For me, this movie embodies everything Hitchcock was able to command. Effortless storytelling that traps us immediately. Rear Window is a testament to Hitch's brilliant ability to manipulate his audience. And with that, I bid you good evening.